Carlton Douglas Reidenauer, born August 1, 1960, known professionally as Chuck D, is an American rapper, best known as the leader and frontman of the hip-hop group Public Enemy, which he co-founded in 1985 with Flavor Flav. Chuck D is also a member of the rock supergroup Prophets of Rage. He has released several solo albums, most notably Autobiography of Mr. Chuck, 1996. His work with Public Enemy helped create politically and socially conscious hip-hop music in the mid-1980s. The source ranked him at number 12 on its list of the top 50 hip-hop lyricists of all time. Chuck D has been nominated for six Grammys throughout his career and has received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award as a member of Public Enemy. He was also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2013 as a member of Public Enemy. Early Life Reidenauer was born on August 1, 1960, on Long Island, New York. When he was a child, his mother played Motown and show tunes in the home and his father belonged to the Columbia Record Club. He began writing lyrics after the New York City blackout of 1977. He attended W. Traceper Clark High School, where he was offered no formal education in music. He then went to Adelphi University on Long Island to study graphic design, where he met William Drayton, Flavor Flav. He received a Bachelor of Fine Arts from Adelphi in 1984 and later received an honorary doctorate from Adelphi in 2013. While at Adelphi, Reidenauer co-hosted hip-hop radio show The Super Spectrum Mix Hour as Chuck D on Saturday nights at Long Island rock radio station WLIR, designed flyers for local hip-hop events, and drew a cartoon called Tales of the Skind for Adelphi student newspaper The Delphian. Career Chuck D in 1991 Reidenauer, using the nickname Chuck D, formed Public Enemy in 1985 with Flavor Flav. Upon hearing Reidenauer's demo track Public Enemy No. 1, fledgling producer-slash-upcoming music mogul Rick Rubin insisted on signing him to his Def Jam Records. Their major label releases were Yo! Bum Rush the Show, 1987, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back, 1988, Fear of a Black Planet, 1990, Apocalypse 91. The Enemy Strikes Black, 1991, the compilation album Greatest Misses, 1992, and Music and Our Mess Age, 1994. They also released a full-length album soundtrack for the film He Got Game in 1998. Reidenauer also contributed, as Chuck D., to several episodes of the documentary series The Blues. He has appeared as a featured artist on many other songs and albums, having collaborated with artists such as Janet Jackson, Cool Mo D, The Dope Poet Society, Run DMC, Ice Cube, Boom Boom Satellites, Rage Against the Machine, Anthrax, John Mellencamp, and many others. In 1990, he appeared on Cool Thing, a song by the alternative rock band Sonic Youth, and along with Flavor Flav, he sang on George Clinton's song, Tweakin, which appears on his 1989 album, The Cinderella Theory. In 1993, he was the executive producer for God M. Running Scared, an album by Ichiban Records Group Chief Groovy Lu and the Chosen Tribe. Later Career In 1996, Reidenauer released Autobiography of Mr. Chuck on Mercury Records. Chuck D. made a rare appearance at the 1998 MTV Video Music Awards, presenting the Video Vanguard Award to the Beastie Boys, commending their musicianship. In November 1998, he settled out of court with Christopher, the notorious B.I.G. Wallace's estate over the latter's sampling of his voice in the song Ten Crack Commandments. The specific sampling is Reidenauer counting off the numbers 1 to 9 on the track Shut M Down. He later described the decision to sue as stupid. In September 1999, he launched a multi format supersite on the website rapstation.com. The site includes a TV and radio station with original programming, prominent hip-hop DJs, celebrity interviews, free MP3 downloads, the first was contributed by rapper Coolio, downloadable ringtones by Tone This, social commentary, current events, and regular features on turning rap careers into a viable living. Since 2000, he has been one of the most vocal supporters of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing in the music industry. He loaned his voice to Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas as DJ Fourth Right MC for the radio station Playback FM. In 2000, he collaborated with Public Enemies Gary G. Wiz and MC Light on the theme music to the television show Dark Angel. 
He appeared with Henry Rollins in a cover of Black Flags Rise Above for the album Rise Above, 24 Black Flag Songs to Benefit the West Memphis Three. In 2003, he was featured in the PBS documentary Godfathers and Sons in which he recorded a version of Muddy Waters' song Manish Boy with Common, Electric Mud Cats, and Kyle Jason. He was also featured on Z-Trip's album Shifting Gears on a track called Shock and Awe. A 12-inch of the track was released featuring artwork by Shepard Ferry. In 2008 he contributed a chapter to Sound Unbound, Sampling Digital Music and Culture, the MIT Press, 2008, edited by Paul D. Miller aka DJ Spooky, and also turned up on the go. Team's album Proof of Youth on the track, Flashlight Fight. He also fulfilled his childhood dreams of being a sports announcer by performing the play-by-play -play commentary in the video game NBA Ballers, chosen one on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. In 2009, Reidenauer wrote the foreword to the book The Love Ethic, The Reason Why You Can't Find and Keep Beautiful Black Love by Kamau and Akilah Butler. He also appeared on Brother Ali's album Us. In March 2011, Chuck D. re-recorded vocals with the Dillinger Escape Plan for a cover of Fight the Power. External Videos Video Icon Interview with Chuck D. at the National Museum of African American History and Culture June 10, 2022, C-SPAN. Chuck D. duet with rock singer Meat Loaf on his 2011 album Hell in a Handbasket on the song Mad Mad World slash The Good God is a Woman and She Don't Like Ugly. In 2016, Chuck D. joined the band Prophets of Rage along with Be Real and former members of Rage Against the Machine. In July 2019, Reidenauer sued Teradome Music Publishing and Reach Music Publishing for $1 million for withholding royalties. In 2023, Chuck D. released a four-part documentary on PBS entitled, Fight the Power, How Hip-Hop Changed the World. Rapping Technique and Creative Process Chuck D. in 2013 Chuck D. is known for his powerful rapping. How to Rap says he has a powerful, Resonant voice that is often acclaimed as one of the most distinct and impressive in hip hop. Point 248 Chuck says this was based on listening to Mel Mel and sportscasters such as Marv Albert. Point 248 Chuck often comes up with a title for a song first. 31 He writes on paper, though sometimes edits using a computer. 143 He prefers to not punch in 280 or overdub vocals. Point 282 Chuck listed his favorite rap albums in Hip Hop Connection in March 2000. NWA, Straight Outta Compton. Boogie Down Productions, Criminal Minded. Run DMC, Tougher Than Leather. Big Daddy Kane, Looks Like a Job for. Stetsasonic, In Full Gear. Ice Cube, Emmerich is Most Wanted. Dr. Dre, The Chronic. De La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising. Eric B. and Rakim, Follow the Leader. Run DMC, Raising Hell, it was the first record that made me realize this was an album-oriented genre. Politics. Chuck D. identifies as black, as opposed to African or African-American. In a 1993 issue of Dirt magazine covering a taping of In the Mix hosted by Alami Ballard at the Apollo, Dan Field writes. At one point, Chuck bristles a bit at the term African-American. He thinks of himself as black and sees nothing wrong with the term. Besides, he says, having been born in the United States and lived his whole life here, he doesn't consider himself African. Being in public enemy has given him the chance to travel around the world, an experience that really opened his eyes and his mind. He says visiting Africa and experiencing life on a continent where the majority of people are black gave him a new perspective and helped him get in touch with his own history. He also credits a trip to the ancient Egyptian pyramids at Giza with helping him appreciate the relative smallness of man. Reidenauer is politically active, he co-hosted Unfiltered on Air America Radio, testified before the United States Congress in support of peer-to-peer -peer MP3 sharing, and was involved in a 2004 rap political convention. He has continued to be an activist, publisher, lecturer, and producer. Addressing the negative views associated with rap music, he co-wrote the essay book, Fight the Power, Rap, Race, and Reality, with Yusuf Jaw. He argues that music and art and culture is escapism, and escapism sometimes is healthy for people to get away from reality, 
but sometimes the distinction is blurred and that's when things could lead a young mind in a direction. He also founded the record company Slam Jams and acted as narrator in Kareem Adur's short film Bling, Consequences and Repercussions, which examines the role of conflict diamonds in Bling fashion. Despite Chuck D and Public Enemy's success, Chuck D claims that popularity or public approval was never a driving motivation behind their work. He is admittedly skeptical of celebrity status, revealing in a 1999 interview with Bomb magazine that the key for the record companies is to just keep making more and more stars, and make the ones who actually challenge our way of life irrelevant. The creation of celebrity has clouded the minds of most people in America, Europe and Asia. It gets people off the path they need to be on as individuals. In an interview with Le Monde, published January 29, 2008, Chuck D stated that rap is devolving so much into a commercial enterprise that the relationship between the rapper and the record label is that of slave to a master. He believes that nothing has changed for African Americans since the debut of Public Enemy, and, although he thinks that an Obama-Clinton alliance is great, he does not feel that the establishment will allow anything of substance to be accomplished. He stated that French President Nicolas Sarkozy is like any other European elite, he has profited through the murder, rape, and pillaging of those less fortunate and he refuses to allow equal opportunity for those men and women from Africa. In this article, he defended a comment made by Professor Griff in the past that he says was taken out of context by the media. The real statement was a critique of the Israeli government and its treatment of the Palestinian people. Chuck D. stated that it is public enemies' belief that all human beings are equal. In an interview with the magazine Digo published in June 2008, he spoke of today's mainstream urban music seemingly relishing the addictive euphoria of materialism and sexism, perhaps being the primary cause of many people harboring resentment towards the genre and its future. However, he has expressed hope for its resurrection, saying it's only going to be dead if it doesn't talk about the messages of life as much as the messages of death and non-movement, citing artists such as N.Y. Oil, M.I.A., and The Roots as socially conscious artists who push the envelope creatively. A lot of cats are out there doing it, on the web and all over. They're just not placing their career in the hands of some major corporation. In 2010, Chuck D. released the track Tear Down That Wall. He said, I talked about the wall, not only just dividing the U.S. and Mexico, but the states of California, New Mexico, and Texas. But Arizona, it's like, come on. Now they're going to enforce a law that talks about basically racial profiling. He is on the board of the TransAfrica Forum, a pan-African organization that is focused on African, Caribbean, and Latin American issues. He has been an activist with projects of the Revcoms, such as Refuse Fascism and Stop Mass Incarceration Network. Carl Dix interviewed Chuck D on the Revcoms YouTube program, The RNL, Revolution, Nothing Less. Show. In 2022, he endorsed Conrad Tillard, formerly the Nation of Islam minister known as Conrad Muhammad and subsequently a Baptist minister, in his campaign for New York State Senate in District 25, covering part of eastern and north central Brooklyn personal life. Chuck D. has claimed on Twitter to be a maternal great-grandson of architect George Washington Foster. As of June 2023, he has three children aged 34, 30, and 10. The two oldest by his first ex-wife Deborah McClendon and the youngest by his ex-wife Gay Teresa Johnson. Chuck D. lives in California and lost his home in the Thomas Fire that occurred from December 2017 to January 2018. TV Appearances Narrated and appeared on camera for the 2005 PBS documentary Harlem Globetrotters, The Team That Changed the World. Appeared on camera for the PBS program Independent Lens, Hip Hop, Beyond Beats and Rhymes. Appeared in an episode of News Radio as himself. He appeared on The Henry Rollins Show. He was a featured panelist, with Lars Ulrich, on the May 12, 2000, episode of The Charlie Rose Show. Host Charlie Rose was discussing the internet, copyright infringement, Napster Incorporated, and the future of the music industry. He appeared on an episode of Space Ghost Coast, to coast with Pat Boone. While there, Space Ghost tried, and failed, to show he was hip to rap, saying his favorite rapper was M.C. Escher. He appeared on an episode of Johnny Bravo. 
He appeared via satellite to the UK as a panelist on BBC's Newsnight on January 20, 2009, following Barack Obama's inauguration. He appeared on a Christmas episode of Adult Swim's Aqua Teen Hunger Force. He appeared on VH1 Ultimate Album's Blood Sugar Sex Magic, talking about the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He appeared on Foo Fighters, Sonic Highways in the episode, talking about the beginnings of the hip-hop scene in New York City. He is featured in the 2024 documentary Cover Your Ears produced by Prairie Coast Films and directed by Sean Patrick Shaw, discussing music censorship. Music Appearances In 1990, Chuck featured on Sonic Youth's single Cool Thing. In 1993, Chuck rapped on New Agenda from Janet Jackson's Janet. I loved his work, but I'd never met him, said Jackson. I called Chuck up and told him how much I admired their work. When I hear Chuck, it's like I'm hearing someone teaching, talking to a whole bunch of people. And instead of just having the rap in the bridge, as usual, I wanted him to do stuff all the way through. I sent him a tape. He said he loved the song, but he was afraid he was going to mess it up. I said, are you kidding? In 1999, Chuck D. appeared on Prince's hit Undisputed on the album Rave Un 2, The Joy Fantastic. In 2001, Chuck D. appeared on the Japanese electronic duo Boom Boom Satellite's track Your Reality's a Fantasy, But Your Fantasy is Killing Me on the album Umbra. In 2001, Chuck D. provided vocals for Public Domain's Rock to Funky Beats. In 2010, Chuck D. made an appearance on the track Transformicao, Portuguese for Transformation from Brazilian rapper MV Bill's album Causa e Efeito, meaning cause and effect. In 2003, he was featured on the track Access to the Excess in Junkie XL's album Radio JXL, a broadcast from the Computer Hell Cabin. In 2011, Chuck D made an appearance on the track Mad Mad World slash The Good God is a Woman and She Don't Like Ugly from Meat Loaf's 2011 album Hell in a Handbasket. In 2013, he has appeared in Matt Zoe's single, Pyramid Scheme. In 2013, he performed at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Music Masters concert tribute to the Rolling Stones. In 2014, he performed with Jahi on People Get Ready and Yo! from the first album by Public Enemy spin-off project, P2.0. In 2016, he appeared in ASAP Ferg's album Always Strive and Prosper on the track Beautiful People. In 2017, he was featured on the track America on Logic's album Everybody. In 2019, he appeared on Story of Everything, a song on Threads, an album by Sheryl Crow. The track also features Andrew Day and Gary Clark Jr. Discography With Public Enemy Main article, Public Enemy Discography Studio Albums Yo! Bum Rush the Show, 1987 it Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back, 1988 Fear of a Black Planet, 1990 Apocalypse 91 The Enemy Strikes Black, 1991 Music and Our Mess Age, 1994 He Got Game, 1998 There's a Poison Going On, 1999 Revolver Lucian, 2002 New World Odor, 2005 how You Sell Soul to a Soulless People Who Sold Their Soul 2007 Most of My Heroes Still Don't Appear on No Stamp 2012 The Evil Empire of Everything 2012 Man Plans God Laughs 2015 Nothing is Quick in the Desert 2017 What You Gonna Do When the Grid Goes Down 2020 With Confrontation Camp Studio Albums Objects in the Mirror Are Closer Than They Appear, 2001 With Prophets of Rage Studio Albums Prophets of Rage, 2017 Studio EPs The Party's Over, 2016 Solo Studio Albums Autobiography of Mr. Chuck, 1996 The Black and Man, 2014 if I can't change the people around me, I change the people around me, 2016. Celebration of Ignorance, 2018. Compilation Albums. 
Action, DJ Matheos Worldwide International Remix, Most Asterisk Hi-Fi, featuring Chuck D and Huggy, 2010. Don't rhyme for the sake of Ritalin, as Mr. Chuck, 2012.